Hey everyone. So, gonna try to keep this video quick. I realize I say that a lot and they all end up being 20 minutes. But, um, I had the chance, actually, I had the, the prototype cylinders, which are what's on this 220R loader. And what you see here, these are not going to be, not likely going to be production because, uh, if you can see right there, they're too wide for this quick connect. Now, these will be the size that you're going to see on the 3E, and that's because the 3E does not have this. It's not a quick park loader. So, um, the 1.75 is what's going to come on this tractor, but I had the 2-inch. I wanted to make sure that they wouldn't work, and they do work, uh, but you can see there's a little bit of damage on the edge of the, the cylinder here and a little bit of damage. I, I don't know to call that damage, it was definitely scraping. It's not optimal, we'll put it that way. So if I get a lot of people saying, hey, you know what, that's no problem for me. I got scratches all over my tractor. I really want the extra lift capacity. Uh, and after we get some hours on these 1.75s, then maybe we will, we will reconsider that. But at this point, the 1.75 is gonna be what we go with on this tractor. It is uh, currently, they have 1.5, not currently, but the stock is 1.5, and um, uh, these are two. And uh, I end up uh, moving a lot of sod on my yard. Just that It just so happens, you see there, uh, right there, I have um, some dying there. I have a stump that was ground, can you see right there? Uh, that needs some sod replace, so that's what I do. And it's very uh, often I need to take something heavy like this, not carry it around, just get it off my trailer because I need my trailer to go get something else or I need to park my trailer, whatever it may be, I wanna get this off. Now this is a complete full pallet of zoysia sod, 50 uh, or so uh, square yards and it's wet because I've been wetting it overnight. It was cut fairly wet and I was wetting it overnight um, so that it has the best chance to survive. Uh, this tractor, you know, stock at about that level there, wouldn't be able to move that. That's probably somewhere on the order of 25 to 2,800 pounds. I don't know exactly, um, but a wet pallet of sod that's, you know, that size is, is typically dry 20, maybe 23 to 25, but wet, definitely at least 25, if not 28. So, um, I said I'll keep this short. Let me quit talking. Let's jump in here and see how this goes. Let me try to... Got it at about 1400 RPMs right now. I got my tailgate off because I just rebuilt the tailgate. And honestly, I don't want to bend it yet. I'm sure I'm going to bend it. So I'm going to see if I can curl this back. I cannot curl it back. Let's see if I can. curl it more than that, but I can lift it. Let's see what this looks like. That's pretty good. Probably a little light on the tail end for sure. Uh, I do. I did put 50 psi in the the tires, which is said that's what it said on the tires, the maximum inflation. Um, and I kind of got the pallet out just to the end of the forks here, a little bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it down and scoot that up, and then we'll see how high we can actually get this pallet. You now, if it goes higher than I'm willing to go, we'll just stop there. But we'll see what it does here. Kind of hard. 
hard when you can't curl it, I guess. There we go. Oops. Something broke loose here. Probably as high as that because I can't curl it back if I let it out here and I'm actually putting more strain on the loader. I tell you, I'm at 1400 RPMs. I don't know if it'd make it to the top. Let's see. More extra pressure. Yeah. It's got a. Uh, it would probably, with the two inch cylinders, uh, lift that quite a bit higher. Didn't seem to be struggling too much, but there's no way I'm willing to get it up there uh, without the, at least without the ability to curl it because um, I'd be stuck. So anyhow, um, black nitride, John Deere green. Actually, this is not the final paint color. It's close. Uh, exact same length, stroke, everything. Um, and what we also have learned, I uh, haven't confirmed this just yet, but it's, it's within about a quarter of an inch, is that the mechanical self-leveling loader uh, also basically, it's not the exact same uh, cylinder, but it's within a quarter of an inch. So I think uh, that is well within kind of the tolerance to be able to use it on the mechanical self-leveling for the 220R as well as the um, this non-self-leveling. So before I go, I'm going to, let's see, how far am I? I got eight minutes. I got a minute or two. I think I'm going to take this off. Uh, I'm just going to do a um, quick lift test, put that in here as well, and we'll kind of keep treat this as a teaser. I've got a little bit more of a comprehensive video comparing uh, on the one and two series, and hopefully I'll be able to get that done and um, posted here in the next few days. So 2642 versus uh, somewhere in the 16 to 1700 pound range. So two inch cylinders, uh, 3000 PSI adds something on the order of a thousand pounds of lifting capacity, some additional thousand pounds. So obviously the 1.75 is going to be somewhere in between that. But that's going to put you, and I didn't show it, and again, this is meant to be a short video, but we didn't have the back end off the ground, but this has um, loaded tires and the backhoe on, and it was very light in the rear end, but we did not have them off the ground. You'll be, you know, if you did those, you'd probably be, was it 2642? I think the 1.75 should be able to get about a metric ton. I'd say we'd probably, we should be somewhere around 2200. I'll do the math, see how, what the fall off will be in, in, in a week or so. Uh, I'll have that more official test for you, but I thought I'd go ahead and put this out as a teaser for those of you interested. Really appreciate you watching. Uh, those are excited to get these on your own tractor so that you have uh, the flexibility uh, and options that you need to do the work that you like to do. If you have comments, certainly leave them below. And thanks for watching.